Hello everyone and welcome back to the Oberon channel. Today we're going to talk about booting Oberon in a multi-boot environment. Namely together with DOS and Windows XP. This is the classical configuration I use um, frequently on my old retro computing systems because I also do some um, retro computing development stuff uh, in DOS very seldom but from time to time this will happen, uh, happen. and uh, most of my stuff is in Oberon of course but I also have some Windows XP application um, especially for my old pocket calculators that are running under Windows XP <coughs> so this is the reason why those three operating systems are um, the, one, the ones of my choice so um, Actually, um, I'm using Oberon as a native operating system that is booted directly because I activated the Oberon partition um, with the partition tools, so Oberon is booting directly. And for the other operating systems, I use a very clumsy trick. Um, uh, I can change the active partition in DOS and also in, in Oberon. So when I'm in Oberon and I want to switch over to DOS, I make the DOS partition active. And when the DOS partition is active, the uh, NT uh, boot manager, which is shipped with Windows XP and um, is um, normally installed when you are doing a Windows XP installation, um, gets kicked into action. Then I can choose between MS DOS or Windows XP. Uh, as I said, it's a bit it's a bit clumsy, and uh, I wanted to change this. And I found a way how we can do this, and we won't need an additional boot manager. Uh, I tried and had some had some success with Boot Us. It's really a very cool um, boot managing tool, uh, and it worked. But the problem is that um, Boot Us was, let's say, running on top of the NT boot manager. So um, I had two boot options, let's say, cascaded after one another, and, and I, I didn't want that. Uh, I just want to use one boot managing tool. And I found a way um, how we can handle this with the Windows NT boot manager. Um, this boot manager is, is really not bad, um, but it was originally designed to deal with Windows and all those um, versions and subversions of Windows and with MS DOS. And this uh, are the things that can handle. Uh, very cool and also automatically. But with other foreign operating systems, it doesn't know what to do with them. <coughs> but uh, nicely, Microsoft implemented a trick or a little feature that you can boot um, an arbitrary operating system by your choice when you are applying the boot sector where this oper uh, operating system is hosted on the hard disk as a file, as a binary file, and you pass it over to the anti-bootloader as a parameter during the boot process. Um, and that's what I found out um, by studying all those pages uh, containing stuff about booting Oberon and also configuring the NT boot manager. And um, it's it's not very um, very complicated when you found out how it works, of course. And now I'm going to show you how we can do this. Okay, first we have to boot Oberon, and that's what I already did. And um, there's a procedure existing, exported from the module partitions, which extremely makes sense in my mind, um, that is able to write um, the boot partition to a file. But first we have to check uh, where our boot partition is hosted. So let's enter um, let's enter Partitions and show. Okay, I hope you can see it here on the left corner of my screen. I have to turn the camera a little bit. Okay, here you can see it. Um, our native Oberon partition is IDE 0 hash 0. Two. So this is what we have to keep in our mind, because now we enter 
a new command from the same mod. And now we enter partitions partition to file and now um, our boot section id 0 hash 0 0 2 and now the name of the file we want to store the partition or the, the boot sector in we name it Oberon dot bin and now we have two more parameters we have to apply and the wave sign and let's see if this works yes you can see here something like a, um, a percent gauge running from the left to the right and it's already finished so now our um, partition section uh, our boot section is stored and um, we can see it when we apply uh, let's make it somehow different let's apply wildcard dot bin let's mark it and then we execute system directory and now you can see Oberon dot bin is written here okay and the last thing to do now is to store it on floppy and therefore we write backup write files and then Oberon dot bin and the hash sign uh, the wave sign now we can check this again by executing backup directory and you see Oberon.bin is stored so okay so the next thing is to transfer this file we already stored here on our floppy disk to our DOS system so I already boot booted my machine into DOS and uh, this is now very easy we just put in our floppy disk and let's see if we can can read the file we go over to the floppy directory and we say dir and you can see there is oberon.bin the mbr.bin is a file from my previous test and it already works but for my tutorial I decided to name it more more reasonable so I choose the name oberon.bin uh, makes pretty much more sense than, than just MBR but you can name it in any way you want <clears throat> so my installation was MBR but your installation should be something more self-explanatory like Oberon <clears throat> okay now we say just um, I have to tilt the camera angle a little otherwise you can't see what I'm typing in uh, just type copy Oberon dot bin to C one file copied and that's all what you have to do in DOS okay here comes the last part um, now we have to boot into Windows XP and we have to invoke the system configuration which is done by clicking on the start file going over to system configuration um, I must apologize at this point of the video because everything here you can see is obviously written in German, all the menus and all the texts. This is because I have a single language version of Windows XP. I can't switch over to English language. Sorry for that. So you have to translate what you see in your mind um, to the English version. But um, because this is a video, I think um, you also can keep your mind on the positions where I do something. This is um, this is more reasonable than just reading um, the texts that I'm clicking on. Okay, um, we go to system, and now we have the system properties here, and we are using the tab, which is called in German erweitert. In uh, English, that would, that would mean advanced options something like that and uh, we have different sections here and the third section is dealing with the start options and um, recovering options so we go into by clicking on settings 
and now um, we have a section here which is named System Start and System Start is dealing with all those options around the NT Boot Manager. When we click on Bearbeiten, which in, in English means editing, then we come directly to this file here. And this is um, the most interesting part I wanted to show you because this is the boot.ini file. Boot.ini file is a configuration file the NT bootloader uses to see what operation systems are available on the system, which one has to, by, uh, to, has to boot by default. Um, so all the stuff starting from here up to, uh, down to here is all something that Windows NT inserted itself during the installation process. You can see it also found MS-DOS because I previously installed MS-DOS before I installed um, Windows XP so it, it could find the the boot partition of MS-DOS and add it to the boot ini file. Um, just this last line here, this one here, is the one I added myself. And you can see C colon backslash mbr dot bin and then this equal sign and then native or on. So um, this here is the path to the bin file we generated. In my configuration here is it's um, still named mbr.bin. But I told you um, this was just for testing purposes. It's more better to use the overon.bin uh, that you are um, going to make it. I hope so. So when you um, do the stuff I told you in my tutorial then you should enter of course overon.bin here. I'm not sure if this um, this text here is case sensitive, if these settings are case sensitive. So I would recommend to avoid any uh, unnecessary errors and write it, uh, write the name of the file down exactly as you have it made in the overall system. Okay, and this is just here a string that is displayed um, in the boot manager menu when you make your choice of the rating system. So I won't change anything here because it works and I keep it in the way it is. We can close this for now and we can go out here and now I can show you um, that the boot process is actually working. Okay, so now the system is rebooting and here you can see the menu. First is Microsoft Windows, then is MS-DOS, then we have native Oron. So let's start with MS-DOS because this is the most quick boot process of all OSs I installed. And you see DOS was booting, now we hit Control alt delete and we boot again. So now let's try Oberon. This is normal. Here you can see we have Oberon. Let me zoom out a little bit. This is Oberon. Okay. And now we restart again or reboot again. And here we go for Windows. And you see Windows is booting. Okay, I hope you learned a lot and see you again on the Overon channel. Bye for now.